I feel like as a mum and as a woman, I, when I gave birth to my first child, I didn't automatically feel like a nurturer. I didn't automatically feel like I've got this because I, that's what I'm born to do and made to do. And, you know, I have experienced... You were very young, though, with your first, weren't you? Yeah, but I still don't think that it's in, you know, it's instilled in, in everybody and it's primal. And I think that we, as parents, I think that sometimes when we neglect how well a, a man can be a parent, we say stuff like, yeah, well, men aren't the nurturers, they're, they're sort of the providers and the whatever. Uh, we thought we'd obviously show our pictures when we were post-birth, as it were, just to give a little bit of a reality check. Do we have a picture of, of Nadia that we can show? Janet is literally going to throw up. She may do that. Maybe, maybe she Janet should that. close her eyes. No, <laughs> so beautiful. Oh. Oh. Do you think that's pretty? I yeah. think it's yeah. very beautiful. <laughs> We've got a picture of Anne. Anne Diamond, post baby, just after she had her. Oh baby. wow! Which, and then we've got Linda. Amazing. Oh, oh. And, and Syrah. Here's a picture of Syrah coming up. There oh. we are. Um, obviously, uh, we've also got Stacy. Oh, oh Stacy, bless her. Gorgeous, like gorgeous. Exactly now. There's your big baby, Red. <laughs> 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 I'm going to show it. What I do is I keep everything. I email it to him. Yes. So when he's older, he can look back and he can... You email it. We set email up a little email account for him. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So the you, fall you off the roof. all the way through with your, your first baby. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. did, what, what do you feel about going back to work? Did you take time off? How did you... I took... Out? So I took a year off, but I went back th three months afterwards for about a month to film, like, an ending of the story, just like they needed me for something. Right. Story-wise, and then and I just feel like that was too soon. Right. For me, I just constantly missed Ella and yeah. felt really guilty yeah. and hated everybody. <laughs> like anybody that was with her, I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> they tell me stories, and I'm like, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me about my own child. I just went really like crazy. I hated it. Oh, you've never been a baby person. Never been into babies, and when they give you your baby, good. The, no, the love is like a knockout love, isn't it? It's just nothing ever prepares you for it. No. Um, and then you sort of changes when you don't sleep for six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you were know, classed as an older mum, weren't you? Yes, yes. So yeah, a geriatric. That's nice, isn't it? That is what they call it, though. Always yeah. nice, this, isn't it, to be called a geriatric? Yeah, apparently, anything sort of post 35. Um, and, you know, that's been the case on the NHS roads. Yeah. And, of course, there's reasons for it, because there are certain complications, potentially, if you're a bit older. I mean, but these days, I feel things have moved on mm -hmm. quite a lot. Yeah, I yeah. certainly don't feel old now, mm -hmm. and didn't at 38 when I fell pregnant. Question one. Where would you put these on your body? <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy. I probably wouldn't know. What is that? I mean... <laughs> I don't know, like what, like here? Or yeah, shoulder pads. They're they're really nice. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they're I know how you can. Breast pads. Oh, well, they're, I would. Oh, they're oh okay. All oh, right. When, when your milk's coming out, so then you can put. If I go, I'll make. But and use this, it. do you know what this is for? Um. Let me feel that's that's quite. There a, we go. Oh, that's a little okay. It's a, a post and prenatal hemorrhoid cushion for women. Oh. <laughs> A must have. Uh, must, yeah. a must Especially have. if you've had stitches, love. <laughs> Next question. Oh, what is meconium? <laughs> a, a what? What is meconium? I, I don't even know this. Meconium. I know what that is. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. It's a um, a cream. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> it's, oh. <laughs> it's the baby's first poo. I oh. think that means it's wrong. The baby crying. Oh right. Okay. Oh right. <laughs> it's the baby's Thanks. first poo, poo when outside the womb. Right, and how do you Lovely. check a baby's bath is the right temperature? Now, in the old days, we used to put our elbow in it, didn't we? Yeah. You're not allowed to do that anymore. What do you do now? Oh, there's, like, a little thermometer, right? That's so it. You've got bath. that one right. Yeah! yeah. You're going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. Now, the oh, ultimate challenge. There's just one oh, more sorry. before. Oh. Do you know what this is for? The, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's an it's aspirator. A... Yep. It's for sucking out snot from the baby's nose when they get all congested. <laughs> Someone actually said, uh, this might sound really disgusting. It's good. You have to, don't you have to do it with like your mouth? You can do it. That's yeah. why we have these. <laughs>